Hi, and welcome to Beatle Dave's Beatles channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing a fab selection of Beatles Hey Jude LPs. So please, come and join me. So hello and welcome again to Beatle Days, Beatles channel. Really hope I find all you fab Beatles people doing really well out there. And also a big hello to any new subscribers. And thank you all for being with me today on the channel. So today's video then, I'm going to be showing some albums related to the Beatles album, Hey Jude. And yeah, I know I've done a video based on this album once before, but actually I found two really beautiful copies of this album and they really deserve to be seen. And you know, I must admit actually, the first copy of Hey Jude I ever came across was around 1980. And actually, my initial thoughts on this album was, you know, it was such a bizarre track listing. You know, you've got two tracks from the you know, 1964 album, A Hard Day's Night, starting on side one, being Can't Buy Me Love and I Should Have Known Better. You know, and then you've got the 1966 classic 45, Paperback Writer and Rain, with Lady Madonna and closing side one, of course, with the absolutely wonderful Revolution. But, you know, on side two, then, you've got the album title track being Hey Jude with B-Sides, Old Brown Shoe, Don't Let Me Down, and finishing off with The Ballad and John and Yoko. And actually, I really did think this was quite a bizarre album. But obviously, at the time of its original release in February 1970, it was quite an important album for Beatles fans if you wanted stereo mixes of most of these songs. And obviously, this was the only album you could find them up until the Red and Blue albums in 1973. Paperback Writer, though, was actually a slightly different stereo mix on this album, and Rain was unique to this album until the issue of Past Masters in 1988. It was a great seller, though, in the USA and other territories, with it initially being called The Beatles Again before being changed to Hey Jude, with a number of the copies still bearing the original title on the labels of these first pressings. In the UK, actually, the album was released as an export with quite a few copies coming back into the country, with the very first issue copies being on a one-box Parlophone label. Then actually a Dark Apple label version, which was heavily imported into the Britain, before being followed by a lighter Apple label version around 1973. So nearly a decade on then, and the UK finally got a proper release in 1979 with little fuss or sales, as technically there wasn't much that LP had to offer as it did a decade earlier. Also, a very rare final UK pressing of Hey Jude was also released in the 1990s with a different style Parlophone label. Okay then, so right before we get to these fabulous Hey Jude albums, it's time for... So yes, it's on to those fabulous old shout outs and it's a great big hello to Sean Franklin, Stephen Rutter, how you doing Stephen, Andrew Patterson, Alexander MacDonald, James Chavez, Simpsons fan, Don Delgado, James Jones, Percy Cabello, Nick Elias, FBT, how you doing FBT, Angie the Beatles girl, Richard Spadafora and Mark Foster. So that's a massive hi to all of you fabulous Beatles people from yours truly, Beatle Dave. So okay then now, it's time to have a look at a great bunch of the Beatles album, Hey Jude. So let's take a look. So here it is then, the Beatles' Hey Jude. This is the USA version, which was released on the 26th of February 1970, with two catalogue numbers being SO385 and SW385, with the two prefixes being the price codes. So this one, as you can see, is still in the shrink. It's in absolutely lovely condition. Got a sticker there for Sears in America, but it's in great condition. You can see the breathe holes as well. Absolutely lovely condition. And we've got the spine there as well, really nice. And of course, on the reverse, picture of the guys at Tintenhurst Park. George don't look very happy. Apparently he wasn't that day. And the top right there, of course, you've got the Apple SW385 catalogue number and the track list in there at the bottom. 
We're produced by George Martin and manufactured by Apple Records Inc. Broadway, New York. Great condition. And then onto the vinyl, which actually on the label states the Beatles again, which is obviously the initial pressing. There we go. The Beatles again, the Beatles. And on this particular pressing, you've got the catalogue number of SO385, which obviously is the price or the price code before they change it to SW. And that's the second side, the flip side. Beatles again on the label once again. So on to the second pressing then of Hey Jude from the USA, issued on the 26th of February 1970, catalogue number SW385. Once again, it's got the shrink wrap. As you can see, slightly tight this one. Got a price sticker there, $4.98. But it's in beautiful condition once again. And there's the reverse with the catalogue number at the top there. Of course, all the tracks listed. Made in uh, USA, of course, and Apple Records, New York. And there's that spine again. And then the vinyl, of course. So we've got the revised labels with Hey Jude on them this time. It's in great condition once again. As you see there, and the catalogue number as well is the correct one. And there's the halved apple. With the, obviously the manufactured details at the bottom there. And Hey Jude, the Beatles, and all the tracks with the correct catalogue number as well. And obviously I've shown these before, all these copies, a lot of these copies, but we've got two special extra ones to show today, which you're going to love. So on to the first Dark Apple version then of Hey Jude, released in the UK in February 1970, with the catalogue number which is CPCS 106. And this particular one I picked up quite recently, it's absolutely pristine cover, it's beautiful, the laminate is absolutely pristine, probably one of the best copies I've ever found of this particular album. Let's flip that over then, a couple of tiny little creases at the top with the catalogue number on the right there, but it's truly magnificent this one. Obviously printed by Garrett and Lofthouse there, and there's that spine, very very thin spine this one. So the plain white inner then, which has obviously got the patents number there at the bottom left, but this is the correct one for this particular pressing. So onto the vinyl then of course, and this was hot on the heels of the one box parlour phone, and this being the dark apple version, with the misspellings, well paper and back is two separate words, and of course revolution, so you should be able to see that hopefully on that label, but it's in absolutely beautiful condition. Absolutely incredible. Obviously this is quite a recent addition. Side two, in just as perfect condition as side one. What an absolutely cracking looking album. Obviously these are getting a lot rarer these days, obviously to find in this sort of condition, but they are about. So on to another Hey Jude UK export then, catalogue number CPCS 106. And this is the revised one with the corrections on Revolutions, now spelled correctly as Revolution. But obviously paperback is still the same. Once again, another beautifully laminated sleeve. Guys there at John's house. And obviously the little picture of the guys there amongst the trees. Another beautiful lamination. Just a few little creases, nothing major. Look at the spine again. Or the... Details and the catalogue number right at the end. Got an Apple Records printed in there with this particular one. So onto the vinyl then. As I said, it's another Dark Apple version, but you've got the corrections made on the label there. You can just about see, hopefully. We've got paper and back, spelt as two words, but obviously Revolutions is now spelt as Revolution. Once again, though, this is in really lovely condition. Beautiful shine. And then side two. The flip side. Once again, equally just as good. Played this recently. Sounds absolutely fantastic. But still a quite a bizarre track listing. 
So on to my third export copy then of Hey Jude, this is the later version and the catalogue number once again is the same as the previous two being CPCS106. As you can see on this particular sleeve we've actually got a shrink and it's still intact. Absolutely incredible, this is absolutely mint condition. And then there's the reverse. Got the catalogue number there. And all the tracks and of course that great photo of the guys there just chilling there's a the spine possibly the correct inner for the time but maybe not but this is the one that was in there so onto the vinyl then and then of course we got the light apple version and there's quite some weight to this one it's really solid this vinyl beautiful vinyl as you can see, slightly lighter Apple labels, but everything's correct there. Paperback and of course Revolution spelled correctly. Beautiful condition. This one plays and sounds really lovely. And then that's the flip side. Slightly lighter white label approximately, around about 73. So on to the first UK release then of Hey Jude, issued on the 11th of May 1979 on Parlophone Records PCS 7184. So here's the sleeve then of course, completely identical, no lamination on this particular sleeve, just a kind of glossy sort of finish. And this one obviously I've had since around 1980, it's in lovely condition considering. Got a couple of little creases on the right on the spine, but there's the spine on that one. Slightly rubbed, but it's pretty good. So on to the period inner then, for the time roughly. It's in good shape. So one thing that is worth noting then, obviously the original pressings have made in Great Britain at the end of the perimeter text, and later pressings don't have. They just have EMI records limited. So that's worth noting. So that's in absolutely beautiful condition as well, considering it's 40 odd years old, really nice pressing, it's been played quite a few times. And this side too, it's got the old two box EMI from the period, but it's in nice condition and still nice and glossy. Always looked after my records, it's always worth doing that. But yeah, great shape. So my final version of Hey Jude I'm going to show today then is this particular one from 1991. It's the final UK pressing and the catalogue's the same as the previous version being PCS 7184. So here's the cover then. Just a slight sheen on this particular one but it's quite a nice cover. It's in pretty good shape. Obviously on this particular version from the 90s you've got the barcode there top right with the catalogue number. Picture of the guys, and of course on this pressing you've got the Apple bottom left with all the track listings there, and of course made in Hayes, Middlesex, England, produced by EMI Records Limited. And of course there's the spine, pretty good shape. And a nice black polylined inner sleeve. Might be the original one, but that's what came with it. Hopefully that's the, the correct one. And the actual record itself then, it's quite, once again, it's quite a thick vinyl, this one. It's on the wrong side, so we'll flip him over first, side one. As you can see, you've got those kind of past masters type Parlophone labels. And you've got the Beatles there, with all the track listed there. And of course the catalogue number on the right there. But this is incredibly hard to find, especially in anything like mean condition these days. There's just not many that seemed to sell at the time but this is this commands quite a high price these days it's a few hundred pound for one of these if you can find one i think there's one on ebay at the moment for a few hundred pound but they're still hard to find well that's pretty much it today guys and i really hope you've enjoyed seeing all those fabulous hey jude albums which i've showed today and don't forget as always any comments or communication I get from any of you fantastic Beatles people about today's video or any other video which I've made on the channel, I will of course come back to you just as soon as I can. So on the next video then, I'm going to be showing a selected bunch of original cinema posters, obviously relating individually to John, Paul, George and Ringo. 
and there is some fantastically really rare ones actually to be seen. So make sure that you're here on the next video, same Beatles time, same Beatles channel. So anyway, as always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, why not give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. This is Beetle Dave signing off. Until next time. Beetle Dave's Beetle's channel.